Greetings! Peace be with you. In this video, we are going to go over the final law of the Hermetic Principles, which is the law of gender. Okay, so this has been an entire video series on the laws of Hermetic philosophy from the Kabbalion. If you want to check out the entire playlist in this series, I will link out to it below. And if you want to dive deeper into actually reading the text, you can download it for free. I will link out to it below as well, right? So very interesting law, which is the final law of the Hermetic principles, the Hermetic philosophy is the law of gender. Okay, and I'm just going to start off with a quote directly from the Kabbalion. All right. So, and I quote, gender is in everything. Everything has its masculine and feminine principles. Gender manifests on all planes, right? So gender is different from sex, right? Sex is like, okay, this is a male, that is a female, but gender is a far more wide term over here, okay? Gender comes from the same root as Genesis. It means to beget, to create, right? And everything that is created comes together in its masculine and feminine principles, right? That is what actually creates something into being. Otherwise, it's just a wave of endless possibilities, right? Every atom made up of a neutron, electron, and a proton, right? When it doesn't, when, and if it's just a uh, free electron or free proton, then it's attracted towards connecting with its, op its opposite part, right? So everything manifests in this plane of gender. And what we are gonna be talking about in this video is that of mental gender, right? So within every single one of us, there are two mental twins, right? There is the I aspect of who you are and there is the me aspect of who you are, all right? So, you know, these two aspects really create your being. And the I is the masculine principle and the me is the feminine principle, right? And the I is focused on giving, right? The masculine, if you think about it, it's like giving the seed, giving to the service, right? Giving the influence out to it, right? And the feminine principle is focused on receiving, right? And the problem that we have in modern society is that of consumer culture, right? Being conditioned for this feminization that has really been going on for a mass scale, disrupting our hormones. There are so many factors at play over here. There's so much information coming in. And I, I wrestled this for a long time, right? I had low, lower than average testosterone levels. I was being feminized through the food I was eating, through the information I was always consuming, always, always receiving and not being in touch with who I am really am right the me was being influenced by all of these external the circumstances the substances the information all of this conditioning was taking place and this conditioning if you think about it has been taking place since we we're little kids right the entire education system is focused on receiving right i'm going to tell you what to learn right you know you can't be curious you can't ask questions about what you want to learn i'm going to give you these facts and you're gonna stuff them in your head and you're only gonna speak when you're spoken to and you will ask for permission and you will raise your hand when you wanna speak, right? All of this is a receiving conditioning that has been going on for pretty much since the modern education system, right? Which if you wanna dive deeper into it, how it was created, it was created during the industrial revolution whereby a lot of demand for factory workers was there, right? And factory workers are basically like robots, right? Just going on the assembly line, doing what they're told, following instructions. And in the world that we live in, the constantly evolving and dynamic world that we live in, like we are still going through the same education system of the bots going through the system. But now people are waking up to the power of self-education, of YouTube university, of learning for themselves. But my point is that this conditioning of the feminization has been taking place for a long time, right? Whether you look at the education system, whether you look at the food system, which has like a bunch of feminizing effects like soy, which is basically in everything, right? Pretty much everything that you buy at the convenience store or the grocery store has soy in it. That's why it's so important to look at it in soy. This is not just actual organic soy. This is like genetically modified soy, which is in everything, right? Soybean oil, I was reading, like constitutes more than 60% of the populations in the US consumption of food, of calories, right? So it depends how deep you wanna go. And then testosterone levels, the average man today has lower than 
has close to half the testosterone levels compared to a man from a few decades ago, right? So there's so many different factors coming onto it. Now, is this a whole ploy? Is this a conspiracy? I'll leave you, I'll leave that for you to decide whatever you want to decide around that, okay? But understanding that the me has been really activated, right? There is a feminization going across the whole society. And there is really a call for us to get in touch with who we are on the masculine, right? Getting in touch with what we are here to give rather than receive, right? Because then everything changes. Once you realize that there is nothing to get, right? There's only to give. Then that is when you realize that, okay, like I came alone. I'm going to leave alone. I came with nothing. I'm going to go with nothing. I came from the same place. I'm going to go to nothing. And then you can focus on what you are here to give, how you are here to serve humanity in your own unique creative expression. Okay. Now it is important to consider that of creating harmony because I've definitely been in the aspect of, you know, just doing, doing like, you know, shifting from receiving all the time, being conditioned with this feminine vibe, the whole, my whole life, and then coming into it. Okay. I have to like completely shift. I have to focus on testosterone. I have to focus on doing, 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 doing. And then that burned me out as well because you can't only do right. So it's the delicate balance between who you are, right? Who you are being and who you are becoming. Okay. Because you're always in a state of becoming more as well. And if that can be consciously chosen by you, if you could consciously dictate your decisions, then you can consciously evolve into who you want to be. Right. Because of course, like success leaves clues, right? No one can, accomplish anything like anything grand on their own right like even the ideas i'm sharing with you was received from by me from some outside source right so of course it's a delicate balance right it's not only do 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 it's also receiving and seeing how you can improve and in my own journey i've noticed that you know when i was going down that path of just doing 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 then i was introduced to the cannabis spirit or the marijuana spirit and that was helping me in terms of, you know, getting in touch and actually being open to receive the signals that are all around us all the time, right? Going out for a walk in nature, just spending time in that quiet so that you can stay open to actually receiving what there is to receive, right? So it's a delicate dance. And at the end of the day, it's about harmonizing the masculine and feminine aspects within us, right? Because if they aren't, then you always think that there's something outside to get. And when there's something outside to get, then you don't feel whole. Right. You don't feel whole. You feel a void. You try to fill the void from the outside. It just gets deeper and deeper and deeper. Right. So, like I said, it comes down to the harmony of these aspects of who we are, of who we are being and who we are becoming and making sure that is a conscious evolution. Right. We're consciously receiving what it is that we are here to receive rather than subconsciously being conditioned, which is basically what we've been trained to, uh, to do since we were little kids. But now that you have an awareness of that, you can be more conscious of what you allow into your mind, what impressions you pick up, how the different people around you are affecting you, right? What people bring out the best in you, what people affect the worst in you, right? So it all comes down to elevating your awareness, whereby everything that you allow into your presence, into your experience is consciously chosen. You choose your environment because that is in your own power to do so. Okay. So that concludes this video series on the hermetic philosophy from the Kabbalion. It's been a great time filming this video and it's been a great time going through the series as well, deepening my own awareness on these principles and hopefully they've helped you do the same thing. And hopefully they've inspired you to really check out the book because I can't do it justice by making these videos on a bunch of my main takeaways because that is again my interpretation. But the more you can go to the root, the source of where this information came from, the more you can actually resonate with it deeply and create your own interpretations of it as well, right? So either way, I hope you got value from this video series. Like I said, I'll link out to the book. I'll link out to the playlist below. Check those out if you want to go deeper into this topic. But with that, I conclude this video and I'll see you in the next one. Much love to you. Take care.